Hi, and welcome back to Endless Mode. I'm Boku Bell. I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And I'm Captain Emoji, and we're back with some more Monster Hunter World. With Pompa Doug. Gonna get our feet wet with some early quests. Our incredible new character. Uh, we did do a little bit of stuff off screen. Um, what all did we do? We put an overset on our armor. Uh, we picked out a heavy <laughs> bow gun, and we gave Snowball some armor. Yeah, Snowbell is now kitted out. It's a perfectly safe and snug me Tiny Meepo. armor kitten. <laughs> so good. I like that lady's armor, too. Yeah. I like that everybody's armor looks exceptionally comfortable. I, I do appreciate the idea that if you have to wear it all the time, it isn't going to be, like, the worst. It's sort of like my uh, Pusheen Kumigiri. It's just large, warm, protective... Okay, let's get this Large enough to underway. smuggle an actual you palico inside of. Very good. <laughs> so this is an right expedition. If you so it's an expedition. expedition uh, we wander around the forest for a while. For this expedition, we need to head to it doesn't have a forest. time limit. Okay. Uh, yeah, no time limit. You can do gather to your heart's content, which is really good for stocking up before a big fight. Mm -hmm. um, although... Random monsters can show up during expeditions. Oh, yeah. Uh, which is always fun. Always Interesting. Yeah. Sometimes but more than one monster. Sometimes all the monsters. Specifically, we're here to set up a new base camp. Oh, right. Forest. Oh. Uh, one of the things they changed on this one is that there's multiple base camps, but I think you have to, like, discover them. Yep. Gotta plant your flag, say it's yours, and then you can show up at it again. Um, it seems like exploring in general is the name of the game with these missions, just because there's so much stuff on the map that you need to know about, and, well, the missions that are timed just really don't afford that sort of uh, luxury, I guess. Is the is this loading screen telling me to eat bugs? There's a specific bug that you eat that has your stamina use for a while after you eat it. Mm. Uh, I know there was a bug that you could eat that would had a chance of removing poison in the old games, uh, the bitter bug. Don't know if it still does, but... I really want to see our palico training on the side, just like that load screen suggested. That would be adorable. If I get to the adorable. campsite first, or if you're lost, open up your map or use your scout flies to track me. Whenever you leave the I'm kind of interested in what a request, what a we'll Monster Hunter Blue Apron box no subscription would look like. <laughs> um, well, I think it would have to be the size of that chest there. Okay. Like, it would be a Blue Apron chest. Blue Apron uh, chest. Just because everything would scale up. The Blue Apron vault? Yeah. Oh, look how cute our little sure baby Snowbell is. With the little feet sticking in the beans and the... Oh. It's so good. Uh, I know I've seen more than a few videos of the cat noises triggering actual cats, uh, That's which so cute. is fun. So it's not just our cat. <laughs> our cats are really more interested in the piles of toys and puzzle treat boxes uh, in between us and the TV. So most of the time, yeah. They have not noticed yet these adorable little pally noises. Um. Oh, we uh, we did switch to a bow gun as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, we tested out all the weapons, um, and I don't have any experience uh, with previous Monster Hunter games, so I picked the big heavy gun because I just thought it looked real good with uh, Pompa Doug and his his samurai armor. It's very good. The whole thing. Uh, I do really like how they've upgraded everything. Like the guns look more exciting than they used to. I don't know what they used to look like, but I can say that these look great. What are what are our little friends here? Our little rabbits. Flying rabbits, sorta. Yeah, if I had my capture net out, I could have picked some up. Just stuff take, them in you your can bag. You take them back to your house and set them free. Oh my god. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh my god, just, that's very. Just cute. get a bunch of lemurs and let them loose in your house. Yeah. Why they not? They kind of look like Momo from uh, Last Airbender. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that thing existed. You always remember the large flying bison? Yeah. yeah, yeah, the big flying bison. But no, the little uh, flying lemur, uh, Momo. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Howdy. 
Howdy. Not the voice I was expecting for a Piscean <laughs> researcher. Well, I mean, he likes to research, uh, you know, catfish. And he got to go noodling. He has, has to, to go, go noodling. He's got to go stick his hand up in that mud. Yeah. Well, he get caught, his wiggles. He caught all the other fish there was to catch. So now oh, he came to the new world. So he's that guy in Animal Crossing with, uh. his, with his beautiful aquarium actually filled out. One dares to dream. What? I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. That's awesome. I'll be honest, either to die. That was pretty cool. That's some, some pitfall action there. It's so great when a game puts in mechanics so smoothly, like, you don't even really notice what you can do. Like, it, it sort of changes how you look at the game when you realize what you can... Yeah. What it's capable of. So there's a great Jagras somewhere. Yeah. And Remind I could go track it down and kill it if I wanted. Jagger is the one that likes to eat stuff. That's and... the Voriguana, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Voriguana. Or Vorguana, I guess. I feel like that absolutely is a, a taken handle. <laughs> and there's something we haven't seen that's around. Oh. It's not that flappy thing right there, is it? No. No, this is something bigger, I think. Hmm. Uh... What's up, guy? You're kind of standing around the middle of nowhere. I'm laughing to myself. <laughs> endemic life researcher. As opposed to what? The endemic death researcher? That would be me. Oh. <laughs> they, re corrected. they research all the uh, little things you can catch. The stuff oh. that don't have health bars. The bugs and lemurs and stuff. Yeah, I mean... I'm pretty sure we didn't we didn't have to sign up for any training for how to handle lab animals or <laughs> or do live research. God, we are unstoppable. I love the wiggly Got legs. Ups. Yeah. God, that face is exceptional. Oh, hey. well, that would be why our camp got destroyed. This jerk. I thought that was an egg at first. <laughs> Kulu Yaku. <laughs> he likes to pick up rocks and hold them out in front of him as shields and then hit you with them. That's great. He's a tool user. Let's He's a tool murder user. It. That's yep. kind of interesting, only, actually. Only two things on pass. this earth can have opposable thumbs. <laughs> it's man and palico. That's kind of neat, though, that it's a tool user. It's really... Uh, and I also like that it was a fluffy dinosaur with feathers. I know, it had kind of a goofball face. Oh, very much so, yeah. Not really like a spoon bill, but you, you, you get my feeling. Oh, yeah. To return to base from an expedition. Yeah, oh, close. Open the wildlife map and switch to the world map. Oh, looks like a dinosaur made the same jump you did, but just not as successfully. <laughs> yeah. I'm honestly surprised we didn't fight this guy first. I mean, he looks like a big raptor, and that's usually kind of the first uh, boss of the game. Look at those giant dragonfly things. Did we get our cat? Did you accidentally get your cat? I might have tagged him. <laughs> <laughs> but you got the dragonfly. That's, I guess, the most important thing. I love seeing everybody's palicos, too. <clears throat> oh, that's a vigor wasp there on the left there. Oh. Yeah. They gather honey, uh, which uh, provides health. Nice. Uh, I only know this because one of the items your cat can carry is vigor wasp spray. He can basically summon those and occasionally throw health at you. Ah, here is our here is our dum dum friend, our pilfering flamingo dino. <laughs> I don't think he likes so that. That was a sniper shot. Oh, because I'm using the bone gun. Right. Oh my gosh. I appreciate what a weedy it is. I mean, that, that does help with the... <laughs> also, this is the first time I've seen us fight with, like, a... a, a pulled back perspective. Like, it Oh, range. yeah. And you can see so much more! You can see, like, the dino actually... It is the first time we... Okay. Oh, rock! Oh! You don't want to 
want to take hits like that head on. Oh, I don't want to take hits like that head on? I thought I did want the concussion. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it just carries a rock because it's so dumb and it thinks a rock's all it needs. Oh. Well, I mean... I, I'll admit that I kind of wonder if it thinks it's food. <laughs> I mean, it, it might be trying. It's trying to crack open that very hard egg it found. Oh, no. Did you tag it with an explosive? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, this is fun. That is great. I gotta say, though, now that they've done all these things to upgrade the bow guns, I just don't get the bow. It, why it's uh, still there? It's more mobile when you're actually shooting. Yeah, Maybe but, you can but you can, have a, you can have a real gun, though. Yeah, well. Listen, all, all projectiles are created equal. I guess I've just never really been into archery in any Oh my god, he hurt like, Snowbell! And, and we are... Concussed over there. Hurt him. Hurt him like he hurt snow. Uh oh. <laughs> I like where your head was at calling in the the artillery strike, but uh Okay, he's gonna do it again. Yep. Dude, yeah, I shot him with the net on accident. The slappy net does two damage, which I appreciate. The net did damage? That's yeah. great. Lost your stupid rock, huh, you Google? <laughs> now, he's gonna poison. now he's gonna swipe at you with his mitts. Well, he can put his mitts back where ever he... Not, I mean, I guess on him in an hey, egg. Come back. <laughs> Is he healing? No, he's running. He might be heading somewhere to heal, but I think for right now he's just uh, trying to clear the next area. I didn't make the jump I wanted. Are you using a grappling hook to... Yeah. You, That's you, you cool. shoot a grappling hook up and it helps pull you up when you're climbing faster. That is very cool. Everything is so fluid. Oh, that's distressing. Oh, did it eat it? Uh, no. no. Oh. Okay. I thought That's it a hit... different one. I thought it ate our uh, our friend here, <laughs> the Kuliyaku. <laughs> I was a little worried that it could eat an entire other uh, Wyvern. Nice. This point, is... point blanked him. This oh, is... I've made a mistake. No, everything's fine. <laughs> you look like you did that on purpose. Yeah, you look very cool. It was very uh, cool guys don't look at explosion. Oh, definitely. Yeah, you didn't You didn't even break a sweat. Hey. Although, I guess you can dodge roll out of that stuff now if you're really worried about being uh, too close to the fray. Can uh, you pick up your stupid rock and smash the giant vor lizard with your stupid rock? <laughs> Now don't peck with your head. Use your stupid things. <laughs> Still managed to hit us. Nice job threading the needle there. Uh, Kuliyaku. I'm still gonna call it the dumb flamingo. <laughs> the dumb flamingo. Well, okay. Now hold on. Watching it randomly explode is very it's satisfying. Really good. Get out of here, you goitered son of a bitch. <sighs> this flaming. This does feel like one of those times where it would just hang out in the middle of a zone and then you'd end up getting stuck in the load screen trying to fight it. Yeah. Is that something that would happen? Uh, yeah. Um, one of the really nice things about the new hardware and, you know, the fancier graphics and all that is um, everything's one big zone. Uh, in the old games, like, each distinct area 
Uh, oh, nice. <laughs> that was very cool. Uh, each, each distinct area was its own, uh, like, separately loaded instance. Mm -hmm. And so, like, that little entrance there to this area mm -hmm. would probably be a load screen. And so what oh. some of the monsters would do is they'd hang out in the load screen and just sort of sit there. And if you tried to get near them, you'd load into the next area. It was especially annoying because the raptor monster in that, in the last game, would uh, do this stupid hit check that would send you flying. And it seemed like I had a bad habit of getting kicked into the next area. And he'd run off while I was loading back. I, you know what, I'm not even being a good, I'm not even being a good, like, uh, streamer, whatever here. I am absolutely fascinated and invested in us murdering the hell out of this flamingo. Oh, what a funny friend. I'm enjoying how dynamic everything is. Like, yes. I mean, because, like, you used to just sort of sit and plink away at monsters with the gun, but it feels what is it, way different now. So you can use the map to track it. Yeah. Once you good. once you find enough like dirt and footprints and stuff, the vigor wasps will keep on it for you. I was on the other side of that pile of. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, you're kind of in a nice position. Almost point blanked your cat with it, but. <laughs> I mean, there's no friendly fire. Really? But... Really? Massive jerk. <laughs> Can it just lay down and die politely? <laughs> so far, what's your favorite monster to fight? Because you did everything in the demo. Uh, Baroth is always fun. But which, which one was the Baroth? The big mud puppy. Oh, the mud pups. He's fun, and uh, I really liked his armor set. So, fighting him was always rewarding, because you got cool-looking armor out of it. Uh, now, what's that doing a lot of damage? Why is that? It's a status effect bullet. Oh, okay. It, it's going to build up to whatever the effect is. Is it poison, or is it... Uh... Poison, yeah. And then I ran out. Well, Wyvern Ammo usually does, like, tons of damage, so... I think... most popular weapons are, if there's data on that. I would think that they keep track of that, but... Let me use our, our sweet, sweet technology to find that out. I don't know. I mean, maybe people just stick with what kind of, whatever weapon they used to use, or... I definitely approached it with a bias towards the hammer from previous games, so uh, for returning players, I wouldn't be surprised if at least starting out, they'll probably stick to whatever they used to use. Okay, yeah, I did find some data on, on what the most popular uh, uh, weapons are. Um, most popular is Greatsword at 51%. Wow. Wait. That makes sense. Now, this doesn't quite make sense, uh, but most popular is Greatsword, next is Longsword, then Dual Blade, then Insect Glaives, then Heavy Bow Gun, then Bow, then Switch Axe, and then Tied for Last, the Charge Blade, and the Hammer. I've never really used the Charge Blade, but I adore the Hammer. Is that the, is that the Running Lance? Uh, the Charge Blade was the, the sword and shield that turns into a big sword. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's relatively new. Because uh, I remember the switch axe, and it's very similar to that, but... Whoa! Whoa it just tore up the environment? He just opened up more stage. That is very cool. That was very unexpected. Oh, you're... Are the, you close? Is it almost dead? The, the rock lizard oh. knows things. Secret things. Ouch! It is filled with secrets. Secrets and a tiny, tiny, tiny brain. <laughs> secrets and secrets and meat. <laughs> secrets, meat. I mean, maybe grill. I don't know what it's what it means, what it's about. You son of a bitch! Why does he throw the ball like <laughs> like 
that one kid in dodgeball. <laughs> like a gentle lobby. Uh, because he doesn't have the shoulder blades for an overhand throw. That is true. Okay. The rock thing's really annoying, but I do like his little diggy digs to pull it up. Yeah. Got you with the... His little... As he digs Got up you a rock with a slinger. Spot. I brought a gun and I killed you with a slingshot. Now cut up his insides and make them outsides. Kula Yaku. You got a beak. Beak, and scale, plumes. plume. Nice. So, did this actually open up more map for you to explore? Or? Nah, just. It knocked down the walls of that tree we were getting in. Hmm. So. Oh, it's like you wrote an old petrified tree or something. Yep. Oh, something else lurks. Um, a yeah, lot I think of, it's uh, a big T-Rex guy. A lot of big trees, like uh, sequoias and redwoods, will actually be um, pretty hollow or pretty rotten at the bottom. Hmm. Uh, and as you as you get up, you see more of it because that 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 heartwood, that wood in the middle, is not actually the the living wood. That's the the older wood. Oh. So the living wood is everything in the um, just under the bark. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of the reasons why you absolutely should not be carving your name into trees. Because that's all the important bits. Right. That's that's basically like cutting a hole in a drinking straw. Um, it makes it harder for it to suck up all the goodness um, up to higher parts. But yeah, back in the early days of the uh, Redwood National Forest and Sequoia National Park, uh, they would cut. <laughs> They would actually cut tunnels through the trees for cars to drive through. Um, yeah, I've seen that. Uh, which is not a great thing to do, but the it can be pretty hollow on the bottom without it being an issue. And that's your that's your tree facts um, in this game that is not about tree facts. That's okay. I, I it has some really nice flora, though. To be fair, it does. There's some ants. Catch the ants. You need a pocket full of ants to. Throw out the monster. Catch a, a falling ant and put it in your pocket. Oh my god. My pocket's on fire. Um, the ivy looks so much to me like what I had ingrained as a child is poison ivy. Oh. It, it horrifies me to leap up and want to climb it. I mean, we're wearing gloves. That is true, but now we just have ivy ivy juice glove because the, the irritants and the oil. Very true. We need to rub it on those monsters. We do need to rub it on the monsters. Can we poison ivy a monster to death? We do have poison rounds. It does. I guess it depends on the monster. Alright, so that's the expedition to yeah! set up a base. You gotta go find it. You gotta go find the annoying bird monster. You have to go kill the annoying bird monster. And then you're done. Because it was wrecking our stuff. And you just have to play 1v1 dodgeball with this... <laughs> well, Mingus, it, it Honestly, that was less annoying than when I was using the great sword. Really? Because the great sword will bounce off that giant rock he's holding in his yeah, hands. What? Oh. Maybe, maybe we've cracked it. Maybe begun with the secret answer all along. I'm gonna try and hit it with a hammer. I hope I can break the rock. That'd be neat. If you have a big enough hammer, I think you just. Would. <laughs> I don't think there's a lot that stands too big as hammer. Well, next time on endless mode. Uh, we're going to see what opening up that camp does for us. Yeah! It's very exciting. This is a good game. Uh, uh, please like and subscribe, and um, send us your Palico names in the comments. That would be very cool. I'd like Magnifique. to see which name them. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Alright, thank down. you so much, guys. Bye!